right guys welcome back uh, another review uh, today I don't know much about this car so I'm going to hand you straight over to Sam he's going to tell you what it is old 911 oh, and another car nice nice yeah, not far to review that one <laughs> so we're going to review uh, my dad's car actually which is a bit of an interesting one I've had a couple of these in the past and I absolutely love them although it is a Marmite car guaranteed Marmite car you'll either love it or you'll hate it is a Ford Cougar, not the new modern 4x4 one, the old sort of wedge shape 2001. Spelt the same or spelt differently? Um, spelt differently, so the old Cougar is spelt like a, like the cat Cougar, um, but the new one's, uh, what is it spelt? K U G A. Yeah. So they've sort of kept the name, but, yeah. but anyway, the one we're going to see today is a 2000 V6 model, um, and it's the X Pack as well, which means it's basically top of the line it was about the best you could get at the time and uh yeah we'll show you around it we'll take it for a drive and let you know what we think cool roll to intro We're in the Cougar. Sam's driving, I'm not driving. Uh, so, what's it like, Sam? I mean, it's auto, this one, isn't it? So, yeah, so this is um, an X Pack Auto, a V6 X Pack Auto. And um, the Auto, for some reason, they, they seem to be, have survived in less numbers. I don't know if that was because there was less sold to begin with. I should make a point, actually. These didn't sell that well back in the day. It was supposed to be the, um, uh, the car that superseded the Probe. The Probe was really supposed to fill the gap left by the Capri in the in the market when Ford pulled that. Mm. Now, when um, when Ford released this in, I think it was 98 or 99, I forget the exact year, um, they, um, it was really one of the flagship models of the Ford New Edge design, which you probably know from the, like, the uh, Mark One Focus, the Puma, the Cougar, um, and also the Mark II um, Mondeo, they're all sort of at the same age, um, around the 2000 period. For whatever reason, these didn't sell that well. Um, they sold them in a 2 litre 4 cylinder Z Tech and also the V6 uh, Duratec. Both had their own pros and cons. I've owned both personally. Um, I've had the two liter and the and the uh, and the V6, and really, there's not as much between them as you'd think. No, there's the, the two liter does go well, and arguably you can do more with the two the two liter if you're uh, inclined to fiddle with engines. Mm. Um, however, I don't know if you can hear, but you don't get that nice V6 roar with the with the two liter. Like you say, when you, like the Mark II Mondeo, the, the, it's got that that era about, hasn't it? Two thousands. Yeah. Ford obviously tried to do cool things like that. The, it's very much like a big Puma, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, they used to call it the big car. Yeah. You said this one could be a Marmite car, didn't you? So it is a Marmite car. Yeah. For some reason, I, everyone jumped on the bandwagon back in the day. Oh, they're rubbish. They're this, that, the other. They're built pretty poorly. All cars were built pretty pure, poorly down back in the, <laughs> around this sort of period. The interior quality, not the best. But we'll get around to showing you all this later on. Yeah. 
Um, however, as a driving experience, pure driving experience, it is good. Yeah. People used to say they handle badly. I don't think they do. I've driven a lot of cars and this handles well. It's not the best. It's by no means the worst. Um, and a lot of people put bigger wheels on them and you get slightly better handling characteristics through that. But it pulls well. Um, it, it handles really well. You could argue it's slightly under braked um, when, you, when you're hard on the brakes but they're perfectly adequate. And uh, of course, under the shell, it is a Mondeo SD24. The engine is a slightly smaller um, CC version of the same engine. The SD24 had a, a three litre V6. It's got a 2.5 litre V6. Yeah. It's essentially the same engine. And in fact, a lot of the uh, Cougar crew tend to put parts from the, um, uh, the three litre SD24 onto these engines to upgrade them slightly. So you can do you can do things to the, the V6. Don't think you can't. Yeah. Um, but the bonus of it being basically a Mondeo under the shell. It's a Mondeo with a facelift, isn't it? It's like the basically yeah. They said like the Scirocco, wasn't it? it? Was the Golf with a facelift? Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, exactly. Uh, but the, the bonus is it's Mondeo parts to maintain it mechanically wise. Um, it's an easy car to maintain. And so, engine bay. So here we go. So Sam, tell us all about it. Here's You're the man. Our Duratec 24 valve V6 engine. Um, engineered by Cosworth at the time. Well, it, they had help engineering by Cosworth. This is a slightly detuned version of the um, same engine that was in the 24, uh, the ST24. Sorry. Mm. So the ST24 had a three litre V6. This one's a two and a half litre V6. Front wheel drive, as you might notice, as most Fords are. Yeah, as soon as we, I lifted the bonnet, then I was like, what, it's a V6 front wheel drive? Yep, yeah, um, and it is a big lump. Oh yeah, I mean, look, just stand back. Probably one of the hardest jobs to do on these engines is, um, well, engine slash gearboxes. Things like uh, changing clutches, because it is such a big unit, um, you really have to sort of drop the whole lot out on the, on the subframe, and mm. it can be a bit of a pain, you need a ramp and stuff. Um, so yeah, it does fill the engine bay, yeah, it's, that which is, is nice to see. Yeah. However, when you need to do a job and it's right down the side here, like here's your serpentine belt down here, um, it can get really tight. Oh yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, the bonuses with this car is it's Ford Mondeo. Everything's Ford Mondeo, um, or whether you think that's a bonus or not. <laughs> um, but for just purely for parts, we, we love easy. we love Mondeo owners. Yeah, yeah. I can't go wrong with Mondeo, can you? No, no. But purely for parts, um, you, you're absolutely sorted. Now, if you look at the panels, unique to Cougar, unique to Cougar, everything unique to the Ford Cougar. So yeah, yeah. I think it looks great, personally. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And if you find that the people that slag them off have never driven one. And uh, if, you, if you do, if you get the chance to drive one, it's fantastic. It's responsive, it handles. I love <laughs> you them. go straight on the defensive then, Sam, did you? <laughs> yeah, I am defensive about them because people slate all the time. But, right yeah. then, so the boot. Let's have a look Special at the boot. Special mention to the Ford Cougars trick card here. The boot is absolutely it's done enormous. Always. And you can lay the seats down as well and it basically becomes a coupe estate to all intents and purposes. Well, look yeah. at the size of the opening. It's very... You know, the back, it's massive. That, yeah, that windscreen, that well, rear screen is huge. Mm. Look at the opening. You can massive. fit it. Oh, God knows, yeah. The only, diff the only difficulty is, because it's a coupe, if you're lifting something heavy over, there's quite a big lip just here. Yeah. Um, underneath there, you've got a space saver spare wheel. Lovely. With your lifting eye, etc., And the tool kit and jack and stuff's underneath. Um, but it does the job. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is, it's huge massive. Boot. You can fit a family in there. Great for their own holiday and stuff. Oh yeah, amazing. Right then, so a bit of a, a driver's eye view as Sam's 
uh, going along. Yeah. Oh, what's it like when you when you stick your foot down, Sam? Let's see. Oh. Obviously, that was, uh, that was probably about twenty to sixty in very short order. Um, it's, it's roughly when they were new, they had roughly about one hundred eighty-five brake horsepower. It feels like, I'll be honest, it feels like it's still got most of those now. I don't know what you think. Yeah, um, you wouldn't. I genuinely thought it was more. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's I lovely. Because you load to the ground quite low. That go karty um, feel almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got that very like fast feeling car feeling. <laughs> fast feeling <laughs> car feeling. If that, if that makes sense. These were all imported from uh, America, they were all built in Detroit. And the right-hand ones were then shipped to Germany, where they were converted to right-hand drive, and then shipped on to, well, here. Oh. Um, I don't know if they sold them much further afield. I think they did They did sell a few uh, on the continent as well. They had some slightly different colours available. Like, for example, I think in Spain, they, um, they sold them in red, which I actually quite like. Yeah, I'm a big fan of red cars, personally. But. Yeah. Um, they also facelifted them towards the end of their life um, in uh, 2001 I think it was and they are quite rare now as a result because they only run these for I think the whole running um, lifespan life, well, how, how would you say it? the whole selling run of these mm. uh, was only about four years I think it was from 98 to 2002 yeah. and uh, I think there were one or two registered uh, later than, slightly later than that no. If you go on, um, there's a couple of websites that will tell you how many are registered mm. on like, like the DBLA uh, website and stuff. And uh, I think it's down into the low hundreds now, wow. UK wide. When they were sold from new, they only sold about 6,000, which is, I know it's, um, it's sort of a low production sort of car, um, being what it is. But six thousand—that's quite low yeah. for a, for a mass production company like Ford. And you can see why they dropped it after after not that long. Which is a shame, isn't it? In my opinion, it's, it's a shame. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll pull up in a second and we'll show you the interior a bit more in depth. Yeah. Um, and we'll show you what what we mean by maybe the interior quality was a, was a little bit lacking in places. Hmm. But, um, I'll just talk to you a little bit about the interior. Um, these did get a bit of a panning at the time but, uh, for the interior build quality. When you bear in mind that um, you, you, know, you could go out and buy a nice BMW 3 Series in 2001 or whatever, and uh, that was similar ish money. This was about 17 grand when it was new. Um, so, for example, it's all hard plastics and lots of different plastics as well. They sort of uh, mixed it quite quite a lot and I did get some mixed reviews back in the day again hard plastics arguably quite cheap however I think it is a smart cabin make your own minds up but it's quite a nice little cockpit it doesn't feel that forward until you start seeing things like this uh, the old RDS RDS 5000 radio 5000 was on with the tape player 6000 was on with the CD player um, so there are little Ford Qs in here as well. In America, this was sold as a Mercury, so uh, it would be badged as a Mercury. And uh, in the UK, it was badged as a, as a Ford. Seats, nice and comfortable. It's the X-Pack, so it's got the uh, the leather seats. The non-X-Pack were, were cloth seats. And probably one of the biggest drawbacks of the Cougar is the rear passenger space. It is very, very tight back there. I don't know if you can see the foot space, the leg space, it is really tight. These look like they've hardly been sat in for a reason. Also, the headroom, very low. I wouldn't be able to sit in the back because I'd, I'd be breaking my neck. This one's got a sunroof as well. That was an optional extra. Um, parking sensors, that was an optional extra. Cruise control, optional extra. So this one's pretty tricked out as they go. Um, also, I don't know if you can see it, but down by the front of the seat there's a little button there heated seats as well so really it's got all the mod cons radio is probably a bit old-fashioned by today's standards and um, like obviously no DAB or Bluetooth or anything but yeah it's a, it's a nice place to be
Right guys, so that's our review of, well, I say our review, we've said it before, we're just, we're just two guys in a car having a laugh. Um, if you wanted to watch a review, you'd probably watch professionals doing it, <laughs> but... Um, we, just, we just stick around in random different cars and then sort of tell you what we think. Yeah, well... I suppose right. that's all a review, isn't it? So really, I mean, get on your side of the road. <laughs> bottom line is, with this yeah. car, is... I think it's brilliant. I, I generally think it's fantastic. Um, what's your what's your final thoughts on it then, really? My final thoughts? Yeah. Well, it's pros, cons. But it's a two-door coupe, so it's very cool. It's very practical, as you've seen in the boot. It's got a nice engine, spare parts. It turns like engine are easy to come by. Yeah. Problem you are going to get. And it's it's maybe, a, I don't know if it's a Ford thing. I don't know, you know. I mean, are the body panels, are they susceptible to rust? But again, what, yeah, they, they are. What, what, <laughs> they are. What car isn't, do you know what I mean? You know, especially in our country, in England, it's... But this this car's a 2000, mm. and it's never had any bodywork done, mm. and it's holding together pretty well. Yeah. If it was the same era Puma, or Ford Ka, or however you say it, yeah. it would be... Ka. <laughs> you, you, there'd be nothing left of it. It'd be a brown stain on the, on the, yeah. on the road. So these these actually held together much much better yeah. than similar cars of the era. So I don't know why. Different steel maybe. Don't different know. rust proofing. I don't know. Not sure. But as far as I mean, yeah, it, you know, it's it's a marmite car, isn't it? You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Yeah. I, I think it's great. I mean, obviously you love them. You've had two of them, haven't you? I'm very biased for these cars, as you might tell. <laughs> I absolutely love these cars. So. Yeah, it, it had some stiff competition and everyone obviously fawns over Alfa Romeo and oh it's only a Duff Ford this is. But take take the car in its on its own merits and if, if you drive one, um, especially one that's sort of got this level of um, toys and engine and configuration, you'll think this is a nice car, it's a yeah. nice place to be. Yeah. It's got everything I need in here. Um, Definitely. Yeah, it's cool. It's nice, I like it. Drawbacks though body panels, rust, um, build quality, wiring possibly. Uh, people do have issues with the wiring on this era Ford. 90s Ford though, isn't it? 90s. 90s Ford. Same if you get a Jag of the same era, owned by Ford, dodgy wiring. So, yeah. We love Ford, so I drive a Ford, so great. Yeah. Take them off with a smooth. I think, I'm gonna go as far as to say, it's the forgotten fast Ford. Ooh. Ooh, it controversial, the, mate, it controversial. The, it is the forgotten fast forward, and they won't be cheap forever. That's no. what I think. I think it's a future classic that's been absolutely ignored. But yeah. Make your own minds up. Let us know what you think uh, in the comments. Yeah, please. Robust, please robust uh, arguments is what we're all about. Yeah. Not arguments, robust discussion. Discussion, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, let, let us know, guys, if, if you like it. We've had a lot of response from like, the Rover video um, that we've done. We've got more reviews on the way. We've got more Driven on the way. We've got more Monza on the way. I'm always looking for new projects, so we'll, we'll keep yep. ticking them over. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, like what you see, like and subscribe. It's free. We don't get paid, nothing like that. Follow us on Instagram, um, and Odd Jobs123. I'm getting thrown around the car, and on Facebook, the Odd Jobs. Um, and that's it, really. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later, Sam. See ya. K-U-G-A. Yep. Uh, Sam's driving. I'm not driving. Oh, oh that's that no, I'll put that away. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this off and we'll carry on. That can go in the bloopers. Yeah. I don't know what I've done. It's hard. It's fine for now. Hands smell nice now, though. Yeah. Uh, right, so.